So if you've been shopping for an online mattress, there's a really good chance you're wondering, what's the deal with the Casper mattress? I keep hearing about it. Is it actually any good? Well, you clicked on the right video if you wanna figure that out. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm at and in today's video we have our review of the original Casper and the Casper Original Hybrid. These beds are virtually identical, and in the past, you used to just select hybrid when you were checking out with the Casper Original, but now there are two separate pages on their website. We're gonna talk about everything you need to know about the Casper mattress, like what it's actually made of, what it feels like to sleep on, how firm it is, how expensive it is, and who might wanna actually get this mattress for themselves. If that sounds good and you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna have a ton of extra information down below in the description, including any discounts we can find to help save you some money on Casper. Let's just get into the video by covering the policy information for Casper. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. You're not gonna pay anything extra for shipping. It's just kind of baked into the cost of the mattress and it's gonna arrive at your door in about a four foot tall box. Casper is one of the original bed in a box mattress brands and this is how most beds are delivered these days. Unboxing a mattress like this is pretty quick and easy to do. We've done it like hundreds of times over here. It's still kind of fun to watch your mattress go from this rolled up thing of plastic to a mattress right before your eyes. Now there's one thing I do wanna mention for pretty much every online mattress, especially ones comprised of a lot of foam layers like the original Casper, is that right when you unbox it, there's a really good chance that the bed might look a little misshapen. It's probably gonna have a bit of a smell to it. And there's a really good chance if you lay down on it, you're gonna sink all the way down to the foundation or the floor. This is a totally normal thing. You shouldn't worry about it. I've heard stories of people unboxing a mattress and be like, oh no, I've made a horrible mistake. It just takes a couple days for it to fully inflate and reach its proper firmness level because it's been compressed in that plastic for so long. So if that happens to you, don't worry about it. Plus you get a nice long trial period with Casper. You get 100 nights to sleep on the bed at home to decide if you actually like it and it suits your needs. Having a trial period like this is super important because no matter how nice your new mattress is and how well it suits you, it still takes a couple weeks for your body to fully adjust to it and get optimal sleep, which is why most brands, Casper included, will ask you to sleep on their mattress for at least 30 nights before initiating a return. If you do decide to return it, it will cost you nothing and you'll get all your money back in a pretty short order. However, should you decide to keep the bed, which most people wind up doing, you're looking at a standard 10 year warranty. So Casper's policies are pretty much the bare minimum you should expect from any online mattress. Some brands will go way above and beyond the trial period or the warranty, but this is still pretty consumer friendly in my opinion. Let's get into the more interesting stuff now, like what this mattress is actually made of. We're gonna start with the Casper Original, which uses foam for support as opposed to coils. Above this layer of dense support foam, you're gonna have a thinner layer of a transition memory foam. This is there to really make sure that you don't feel that harsh, dense foam underneath and provide some extra pressure relief to the mattress. And then you have the primary comfort layer of the Casper Original, which is gonna be a layer of Airscape foam. This is proprietary to Casper. It's more of an open cell foam and it has a nice balance between support and comfort. You're not really gonna sink into the mattress all that much, even though it has a layer of memory foam underneath the Airscape foam. It's just gonna provide you with a more soft, neutral feel overall because this Airscape foam is pretty responsive. And the reason it's called Airscape foam is that this foam is quite breathable. If you look at it, you can see that it just has tons of perforations that help air flow through the bed more freely. Now, a lot of brands like to talk about how their beds sleep cool, and I wouldn't necessarily describe the Casper Original as an active cooling bed. Most brands don't actually have any active cooling elements, despite what they might say. However, I do think this bed will do a really nice job at sleeping temperature neutral. If you press down on it, you can actually feel some air coming up through the mattress, which I think is pretty impressive. And one other construction element I wanna mention is the transition memory foam layer is actually zoned support. Now what zone support means is that the bed is divided into separate sections with slightly varying levels of firmness that's designed to give you more targeted support. So the center third of the Casper original mattress is actually gonna be a bit firmer than the outer thirds. You're not really gonna feel it super intensely on a nightly basis, it's very subtle. Maybe when you first get the mattress as your body's adjusting to it, you'll notice it a little bit. But the bottom line is, it's designed to help keep your spine in a more neutral alignment no matter what position you're sleeping in because you carry the majority of your body weight in your center mass, you get a bit more support there and a bit more pressure relief where you want it, like in your shoulders. Now, the only real difference between the Casper Original All Foam and the Casper Original Hybrid is that the hybrid swaps out the foam for coils. You're gonna be spending a bit more for the coils, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, 
But the only real practical reason that you're gonna wanna get the coil version is if you're heavier or you just prefer some extra bounce in your mattress. We pretty much always recommend if you're around 250 pounds or more that you get a mattress with coils because it can provide you with more long-term support and durability. If you are heavier and you sleep on the all foam bed, you'll probably be fine for a while, a couple years, but since a mattress is a sizable investment, you're gonna want it to last at least 10 years, if not longer. So I would think it's worth it to spend up for the hybrid if you're heavier. So the overall construction of the Casper mattress adds up to giving it a really nice accommodating soft neutral feel that I think pretty much everyone is gonna like unless you're specifically seeking out a more traditional dense memory foam feel in your next mattress. And it has some nice little extra bells and whistles with the zone support design and the extra breathable foam top layer. Let's move over to the subject of firmness now. This is obviously another really important factor when selecting your next mattress. And this is just as accommodating as its feel. You're looking at about a medium on both versions of the Casper original. Now, medium firmness works pretty well for everybody. Whether you sleep on your back, your stomach, your side, or a combination of all three, you should be able to get by on the Casper original. Now, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be perfect for everybody or else every mattress would be a medium. If you're a strict back or stomach sleeper, there's a good chance you're gonna want a firmer mattress or if you're more of a side sleeper, you're gonna want something softer. A medium firmness generally works especially well for combo sleepers because you're gonna be spending some of the night in more than one position. And it works pretty well for couples as well because not everyone has the exact same preference when it comes to sleeping position. And speaking of couples, as long as you can both agree on the firmness and feel of this mattress, which I think the vast majority of people will, you're gonna to wanna to know about edge support and motion isolation. Now the edge support on this mattress is gonna be pretty solid. A lot of other more high-end mattresses, especially hybrids, will have extra reinforced coils around the edges to help improve the edge support. To my knowledge, there isn't anything specific in the Casper original to really amp up that edge support, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem for anybody. Now, motion isolation is gonna be solid on both versions, so the all foam version is gonna be superior in this category, just because foam is less bouncy and responsive than coils. However, I don't think the motion isolation on the coil version is gonna be a deal breaker for anybody. Pocketed coils do way better than traditional inner springs in terms of motion isolation. So again, don't think it's gonna be an issue for anyone. Pocketed coils do a way better job at deadening motion than traditional inner springs do. And this mattress and pretty much all modern beds use pocketed coils instead of inner springs for that reason. So I think in general, it gets a pretty big thumbs up for couples. And then the last really big thing we need to talk about with the Casper mattress is going to be pricing. Now, unfortunately, Casper and pretty much every online mattress brand has slowly increased their prices over the years. Everything seems more expensive these days. There's no real way around that. And a queen size Casper original was gonna retail for around 1300 bucks. And a queen size Casper original hybrid is gonna retail for around 1700 bucks. This price is a bit higher than some of Casper's direct competitors. Like if you look at the Lisa mattress or the ghost bed mattress, those two beds are gonna be more affordable. However, I do think the Casper mattress has a bit more bells and whistles when it comes to construction than some of its competitors. So I think that price point makes some sense. And that's before factoring in discounts. Casper has been less consistent with their discounts lately, but they usually have some kind of big sale around major holidays. Black Friday is coming up, which is probably gonna be one of the best times of year to buy a Casper mattress. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on Casper. And we're really good at finding the best deals on virtually any online mattress, Casper included. And that pretty much covers all the big things we need to talk about with the Casper original. And that leaves us with the question, who should think about getting this mattress? And there's really only a couple of people I wouldn't recommend the Casper mattress to. If you're looking for more of a memory foam feel in your mattress, or just something more specific like latex foam, then you're probably not gonna wanna get Casper. The feel of this bed is pretty nondescript, which is by design. It's just meant to be generally comfortable for pretty much everybody. So if you're looking for something more specific, then I might point you elsewhere. If you're looking for something especially soft or especially firm, this also probably isn't for you. Or if you're looking to save the most money possible, also probably not for you. However, if you're just looking for a very accommodating mattress that odds are you're gonna like at a reasonable price point, then I think Casper will check a lot of boxes for you. Again, pretty much everyone who lays down on a Casper mattress thinks it's nice. Even if you love memory foam, I bet you'll still probably like the Casper a lot. So I think it'll work quite well for a lot of sleepers out there. But let us know what you think. What are your thoughts on the Casper original? Write us down below in the comments section. And if you have any additional questions, Put it on there as well, we'll do our best to answer them. And don't forget to look down below in the description, we've got tons of stuff down there, including any discounts we can find to help save you some money on either version of Casper. But that's enough for me. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. But for seeing at home, this is Owen. I'll see you in the next one.